on Spectrum, but I'm a quite quite the lazy bastard, so I'm just going to record it, and I think that's also easier for understanding. Now, I had a couple of days ago I had the discussion with Neff that it would be cool if you could put like landing controls just on the press of a button, asking for landing permission, so you don't have to like fuddle around with the Moby Glass or with the MFDs. And there isn't really a way to do it directly in Star Citizen, so we're going to need a third-party program. That program is Voice Attack. It's a free program. Um, you can... There's a paid version that has a couple of more options, but the free version is more than enough for automating the land controls in Star Citizen. Now, Voice Attack can be voice controlled. Uh, you can voice control your commands, but I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, it just doesn't seem to recognize my voice that well. So I'm going to link it to a button, in this case F9, because this one is not uh, mapped in the Star Citizen Advanced Mouse and Keyboard Controls. You can link this to an Xbox controller, to one of those buttons there. So I think it also should work linking it to a uh, joystick button or on your throttle or whatever. I uh, haven't had yet the chance to test that, but I'm going to update the post once I find out if that works. So couple of important things first. It is important, or I couldn't get it at least to work it otherwise, that you open voice attack before you open star citizen, even if you just want to use it to run the command. So open that before you open star citizen. And if you're on Windows 10, not sure about Windows 7 and 8, uh, you have to run it as administrator, otherwise Windows is blocking the program, which sucks. So uh, I already got everything open, so let's open... Um, uh, what's it called? Voice attack. So, this is what kind of should look like when you open it. Maybe you're slightly different. Um, you're only going to have one profile in the freeware version, but there's more than enough. Uh, there's a little uh, window that's currently marked blue, uh, which says target. And we want to tar target Star Citizen in there. Uh, star Citizen is only going to pop out in the list once you open Star Citizen. Then we're going to hit the edit profile button. And with the edit profile button, this window opens up. Uh, what we want to do is we want to enter a new command. Uh, probably if you open voice attack for the first time, there's going to be a couple of like pre-made commands in there. I just deleted them all because I thought they were utterly useless. So what we are now going to do is we're going to write a new command. Um, I could say when I say landing, I don't use it, but you can technically could do this. And then we select when I press a key. Then this thing is going to come pop up and it's going to record which key you want to use. For this one, it's going to be F9. At least for me. You can use whatever you want, of course. Now, we need to set up a couple of things here before we go to actually writing the macro, which is uh, this little box here. Send command to this target. Now, you could uh, specifically target star citizen uh, through this drop-down menu. But... For me, that didn't really work, so I just selected active window. Uh, you could technically give it a description, category, whatever, but we're not going to do this for now. We're going to keep it nice and messy. So, the first thing we want to do in Star Citizen, or that this macro is supposed to do in Star Citizen, is open up Moby Glass on the Comlink tab, which you do by pressing F11. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a key press, and we're going to record F11, and we're going to save this. So, next thing we want to do is we want to add in a pause so Star Citizen has some time to react to the impulse. And I found that it works best with a pause of 0 0.2 seconds. Next thing we want to do is we want to make a new mouse move in. Now, with that one, it is really important that animate movement down here is selected. Otherwise, it doesn't seem to work quite as well. Well, with quite as well, I don't mean it doesn't work at fucking all. So, you want to have that checked, otherwise Star Citizen is not recognizing the mouse to be moving. Uh, then you click here, Set Position, and this one here should pop up. Um, this probably is going to be F8, and the default settings are changed it to a different button. And then we go into Star Citizen, we press F11, and we hover over the Contacts uh, button in the comlink of Moby Glass, and hit, uh, in this case, Right Control, or F8 in the standard one. Uh, press OK again. Now we have the coordinates in there. Um, then we're going to add another pause. So this pause you're going to basically add after each uh, new command that you're giving. Next thing we want to add is a mouse click. A left 
a button. Click left button. Then, of course, again, a trusty pause and another mouse movement. Uh, this now should be automatically checked, but just to be sure, double, double check. Then we go again into Star Citizen, contacts, and hover over this little arrow here that is at the respective landing service, and the landing service is always going to be the first one on the list, so this will always work. Yay! Uh, we again hit Control, and it gives us a new position. We press OK. And then uh, we add a, another pause, 0 0.2 seconds. And then we add another click, a click left button. Then it should call the landing services. We do another pause of 0 0.2 seconds. And then we close Moby Glass again on F11. And we are done. Now what is really important now, because uh, I forgot this the first and fourth time I tried to record this, is to press OK and apply. So the new command is um, loaded up into voice attack, and then we press done, and let's see if this works. Of course, we need to close Moby Glass and Star Citizen first, otherwise it's gonna get weird. And there we go. Landing services get called. And there we go, we have our landing pad. Nice and smoothly, we can bring our ship in, and yes, this is a Gladius. No, I didn't buy it, I melted the M50. Kind of regretted that purchase. So, yep, that's it. That's how you set up an automated uh, landing permission in Star Citizen. Hope this was helpful to you guys and girls. I'm not sure in this group. So, I'll see you around the verse. I think that's what they say in Star Citizen, is it? Anyhow, bye-bye.